Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today guys, we're gonna be looking at a pretty cool deck from the recent Hegster TCG on Monday. And this was a 50th place placing deck played by James Sims. This is his Dragapult Cursula deck. I really thought this was a cool idea. And he actually popped up in my chat on my live stream I did the other day and was talking about the deck. Um, but this is a really cool idea piloted by James here. Um, so I wanted to cover it. I thought it was a really cool deck. I've actually been meaning to relook at Dragapult 2. So this is perfect. Um, but the whole idea of this deck is we're using two very annoying abilities. We're using Galarian Cursula alongside Dragapult. Both abilities are really cool and annoying to play against because Cursula, obviously, if it is knocked out, you flip a coin of heads and the attacking Pokemon is also knocked out. So you can insta-kill VMAXs or tag teams. And then Dragapult has the ability that Whimsicott has where if it is damaged by an attack, you flip a coin of heads, you prevent that damage. Um, so it's a really cool idea here using both annoying abilities. And this is the list here. Not the exact list, but this is what I've modified the list to my liking. Um, I've made some changes to the deck. Um, but I'm liking this deck quite a bit. So before I get the video, guys, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Karkaven TCG, guys. As always, if you're ever looking for any PDC Joe pack codes, uh, get them over at Karkaven, guys. Karkaven sells codes for the cheapest right now on the online market. So if you guys are looking for any specific codes, like Champions Path codes, or Rebel Clash codes, Darkness of Blaze codes, Sword and Shield codes, or any other older codes or you're looking for a specific gx or v promo card or a battle arena code uh, or pre-release kit code get them over at card cabin guys if you get any codes over at card cabin guys you can use my discount code code ldf for a five percent discount on your purchase it really helps yourself out helps yourself out and helps out the channel too so shout out card cabin guys check them out and use code ldf i think i butchered saying that but uh check them out you can also check out my patreon down below if you guys want to pledge two dollars a month for exclusive content um you can do so it's another way to support the channel if you want so check that out if you so please do so let's take a look at the deck here so again this is um the idea was his but i have edited the deck list a little bit most of the stuff is relatively the same you know he had a 414 line a 44 cursula he did play two crobats now i'm not a fan of playing crobat in here at all but i'm still gonna play it because it is pretty good to have still but the crobat is here for the ability to draw cards obviously one of the main issues with the crobat though is with this deck having drag up and carcels in play means that anything that your opponent tries to boss up is pretty much like a card they might not want to do because sometimes they can't knock this out uh sometimes they get themselves knocked out but having the crobat in play is an easy boss target so i'm not a fan of playing crobat at all but it is good in here to try to get a drag up down i would maybe consider cutting this and just playing another draw supporter his list was a little bit different too he had team yellhorn in the deck uh, which I get the idea, you know, confuse your opponent while you're using these annoying Pokemon, but I wasn't really feeling the Team Yellhorn that much. I didn't really like it, so I've cut it. Um, I've actually added an Ornate Rod to get energy back and Pokemon. I've also thrown in some Roses into the deck because it also helps you get the Rare Candy Dragapult in play. Um, and if you want, you can go like 4 Rosa and just all together cut the Crobat out of the deck. That's another option you have. Um, but yeah, relatively everything stays the same. I mean, the energy count I've kept, I mean, the Calm and stuff, you know, Reset Stamp. Everything is the same as what he had. You can even check the Hegster Tourney to compare deck lists. Uh, there's a Swell in here too, another great card for this deck. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty annoying deck to play against, you know, using Cursula here with Perish Body. A lot of the time you're not attacking with Cursula, I find. You're mostly trying to attack with Dragapult. Uh, one issue I do have with this uh, deck is really the attackers having two energy costs to attack with. So you have to always be attaching energy. Um, you know, honestly, you could maybe even add a 11th energy to this deck. Uh, but overall, yeah, Dragapult is your main attacker. You can use it to take out, like, non-GX Pokemon, and then you can use, like, Cursula against those VMAX tag team decks, which is really cool. So, I'm really liking the uh, deck idea here, um, using these two basics. And I was actually meaning to do another Dragapult video. Um, but yeah, the list is pretty much similar. I've just changed a few things from the deck. I've also had an Air Balloon for, like, Cursula. Uh, but yeah, this is the list. Let's go try it out Peace Joe and see if we can annoy some people with our abilities. Alright, guys, get into the first match with Dragapult and Cursula here. See how this deck plays. I'm curious to see how this will end up going considering the person who did play it i mean they went four and three in hegster so who knows uh we do have a turn two dragapult we don't have any energy in our hand which is a bit of a disappointment um i wish if this thing was a colorless psychic attack cost that'd be so much better because you could use dragapult with capture energy i think that'd be really good if you could use capture energy in this deck uh, we'll just have to see if we can uh, do some walling. Obviously, Dragapult is like Whimsicott and Greninja, so it'll come down to a coin flip as to whether or not we live or not. All right, let's see. What are we playing against here? Charizard VMAX. Okay. Um, let's get a Cursula. This actually might be a better job for Cursula, to be honest. We do have to knock this thing out, though. Um, I want to get an energy down because we can knock out this thing next turn with Phantom Force. I might have to get rid of this research just so I can crowbat here. 
I don't know. It's not the greatest idea I've ever had, but... I do want to get energy. I want to be able to turn two, knock this thing out. There we go. Oh, and look at that. We get our supporters. See, it's like, bro, you're never punished when you go for the bats. Now, you always... I always am, but... You know what? This works, too. We got the turn two Dragapult. We can knock out the Volcanion. They go Charizard. They can probably knock me out 300 damage, but then we have the Cursula, potentially. I probably could have gotten another Curse... Uh, Corsola there instead of Dreepy. But if they knock me out, I want to make sure we have another GP, uh, another thing in play. They're probably going to go for that Flare Starter onto the Charizard V here. And again, if the Charizard V ever becomes a nuisance, we can just throw a Curse in its face and we're good to go. I wish this deck had a better like energy acceleration because I wouldn't mind attacking with Curse Because if we attack with Curse we make them have to try to knock me out. But then they can knock me out with like Volcano or something. It's kind of like Altaria. Um, you know what I mean? So let's see where they Welder to. They can't knock me out, so that's good, I guess. Like, yeah, I guess we should have got another Curse Because they can't even knock out Dreepy. Unless, well, they could be the Fatality Band. They could have still went High Heat Blast, Fatality Band, or something. So, I think it's fine. All right, here's where the fun begins. We're going to Rare Candy, knock out the Volk, and then we have to see if we can survive the turn with this thing against this Charizard. I don't know if it'll turn to a VMAX, though. Um, I'd rather turn to a VMAX, because then we can try to knock out Curse there's the Cursla. Okay, things are kind of working out a little well. We'll uh, Rare Candy into the active. Um, I'm at a Marnie here because I don't want to get rid of the research because we already got rid of a uh, support earlier. Maybe I should have Marnied. Ooh, this is getting a little spicy. I'm going to keep the hand. I would. I was thinking about doing Giant Hearth. I'll just keep the hand. We'll just Phantom Force, take a knockout. Get third damage on the Charizard, and we'll see if it knocks me out here with its attack. Let's see what our prize is. Another Cursla. So we can go Cursla here and try to go from there and see how we do. We'll see if this Charizard knocks me out. Then go with their second attack. But well, their second attack discards what? How many energy? Two energy. So they get rid of two energy. Um, then they maybe can't attack with Charizard VMAX as easily. They're probably going to just use this thing though, right? We'll see. If they go VMAX, though, that's really good because then we can go Cursla, and if they attack the Cursla, they get knocked out. Oh. They play Green's Exploration. I did not expect that. Okay, that kind of changed everything. They don't... Yeah, two Great Balls? Interesting. They don't get anything else? Hmm. I guess, like, they don't have, um... I mean, there's no way to stop my ability. There's no power plants, obviously, but it's like... It's like a... It's a weird... Oh, greens, you never know what they could have. That's the thing. Oh, they're failing the Great Balls. That's not good. Another Great Ball? Will they fail it? I mean, I don't know what they're looking for. Okay, they get another Volk. I was going to say, they don't have any, um... They don't have any... Any abilities in the deck, I'm assuming, because they can't use abilities. All right, now let's see. If we could... I really want to live here. Living the turn, I think, is going to be really good for us. Wish we had a boss, though. We could knock out this Volk. But we'll see. I really want to survive the turn here, so I'm hoping our Dragapult gets to survive if we can live here i think we're gonna be in a pretty good spot if we get knocked out it's gonna suck and if we do get knocked out we gotta hope it's by not charizard v but by charizard v max okay malana that's a little annoying that could heal this but at the end of the day as long as we don't get knocked out we're chilling all right please evolve into a charizard v max probably not they have a four card hand and they have a malana and I, so they probably don't have the v max yeah they don't have it no we got knocked out no, Dragapult, what are you doing? Oh my goodness. Five energy down. They're down nine energy. Just, yeah, that sucks. Not much we can do about that. There's a research top deck. That's pretty good. Um, hmm. Part of me kind of wants to hold the hand. Part of me also wants to research here. Because we can get a Rosa. But I guess we want to get another Dreepy. Alright, fine. We'll research. I didn't want to get rid of that, but whatever. It is what it is. Yeah, there we go. We got we got the Dracazoo, whatever it's called. <laughs> I don't even know what that's called. Alright, uh, we'll do both. Get Dreepy, Dragapult. I'm, I don't know if I want to play the Calm, though. Assuming we don't have another Cursor. I might just have to go with another Cursor next turn. Um... I'm just going to pass. I'm not going to bench the, Cur the Corsola because we can use it for the combate. All right. Now I got to hope. I mean, best case for us here, they don't boss. They knock out the Corsola. We knock them out. And then we knock out the Volcanion with Dragapult. That's our best case scenario here. 
It would have been nice though if we lived there, but not much we can do. The, having the crowbat in play is a little sketchy because the original list did have the two crowbats, but this guy just played a hop. Okay then. This man just played a hop. I, mean, I don't really have a comment for that. He he just played a hop. He does a bunch of Reshizar though. Alright, let's see if he knocks me out. I was gonna put the air balloon on the active, because there is a chance he doesn't even attack me. He doesn't want to walk into the ability. Um but he's probably going to take the knockout, right? If he doesn't, we'll build it up for corner. And uh, we'll, we'll try to threaten him that way. The Rushies are, I actually think, Double Blaze does go through Dragapulse ability, which is pretty scary. All right, there's the Fire Spin. Will we get a knockout here? Let's see. We need to get the KO. Yes, we do. All right, nice. So the Charizard gets knocked out. We get some prizes here. Another Curse was really good. Rare Candy. It's okay. We need a support, obviously. We'll see if we can get a Rosa. I think Rosa would be pretty good. All right, cool. We got the knockout. Bring in the Dracloak. Because no matter... I think I'm always going to... Yeah, they bring in the Volk. Perfect. That's going to say because I want to be attacking them. There's a Marnie top deck, which is even better. Considering how big their hand is here. So we get the Cursla down. We'll calm for another Dreepy. The Sleepy Dreepy. Or maybe I just go Cursla at this point because this thing gets knocked out. Yeah, I don't, maybe we should have went Cursla there because this thing's already... We just got knocked out of the Reshizar to win the game. I don't know. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. We'll just Phantom Force here. Knock him out. I'm actually glad they didn't go with the Reshizard because they could have went Outrage and knocked me out. Now they have to go Double Blaze to knock me out. And they don't get their effect on um, the ability anyways, I don't think. So that's really good. There's a boss. So, I mean, if they bench another Volvi, you just knock a boss. We'll see what happens here. If they don't knock me out, we can do the old-fashioned knock this thing out with Phantom Force and not use Cursla. But Cursla did its job. It got the knockout, which is our best-case scenario, and it happened to pay off. I don't know why they're playing Hop, but hey, you know what? It's not the worst built fire deck on the planet. They got greens. They are down 11 energy, so I got to imagine they only maybe have like two left or three left. Um, so they might be really low on fire energy here. They might have to find a fire crystal to help them out here. If they don't get a fire crystal, they're not going to get very far. Okay, they do have a hearth. They get rid of a pokey gear. That means they probably have a supporter in their hand. Yeah, they have two fires. Okay. That's 13 fire energies. There's a fire crystal. Okay, they have it all. But yeah, will they go for the attack? They can double blaze me if they want. That's really the only thing they can do is double blaze. It could outrage, I guess, for 60 damage. That doesn't seem very good. Oh, they're pokey gear. Well, if they don't get a welder here, that's bad for them. Okay, they get a green, but that's not a welder. Now, why would they get rid of the other Poke Gear then if they need to get a Welder here? Unless they were just playing that just to play it. Okay, I guess they didn't have Welder. They really should have, um, get the other Poke Gear. I don't understand why they... They could have gotten rid of a Fire Energy. They don't need that much Fire Energy. Five Energy? I don't know. I mean, that's good for us, I guess. So, I think we just swing into the Reshizard here. Or maybe not. They do have Malolana in the deck. I do remember them having the Malolana. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, we have our other boss, right? I mean, we could do double boss. They get Switch Welder. Hmm. Okay, what are they doing? They can't attack me, which is good. They could. Are they going to switch in the Volcanian? Yes, they are. Okay. Is that all? I guess they can Flare Starter. Well, that means they would play 14 energy. Which they probably have 14 energy at this point. Okay, so we will, um, I don't know what I want to do. We could boss this up. Okay, never mind. This game wants to just give me both bosses. Never mind. I mean, I think we just knock this out so it doesn't knock out Cursla. I'm fine with knocking it out. We'll hold the hand. It is what it is. Get their damage on this. Got an evil wind sense. Uh, we have two candies left. We have a Rosa, so we can maybe go with another Dragapult next turn. I haven't seen a boss as... Yeah, I haven't seen a boss's order yet from them. So they still have the option to take out Crobat with Double Blaze at any point. They could also probably knock me out with Outrage if I keep hitting this thing. I don't know, maybe boss was the better play there. I don't know. Alright, Dragapult, we need you to get heads again, buddy. We need you to sponge a hit. Then we go Cursla. Then we hope they don't have a boss in their hand. I drag a pull. You got one job. I am also tempted to hold the hand. Oh, they have crushing hammer, bro. No, why do they have hammers? And they get ha wait on my active. Okay, that's actually fine. I'm fine with that because if they knock me out, 
We can still attack. Okay, that's okay. I, I, I just got scared for a sec. I thought they were gonna get, get rid of the energy on the bench. True. That would have been the better play to get rid of the bench to repeat energy. But hey, I ain't complaining. That's good. Oh, they have another one. Okay. Okay, they get double tails. All right, now hopefully they get the heads, tails, and then we get the heads on our ability. And then if we get tails, we get heads on our other ability. Okay. Love to see it. What do we draw? Okay. Dreepy. The sleepiest of dreepies. Calm for another curse course, I guess. I'm just gonna hold the hand. The reason I'm holding it is because we have two boss. If they bench another volcano, we just win the game. All right, they got 90 HP, so they need to hit me again. And if they get tails, we win. I do want to get a Rosa top deck though, right? Just so I can um, knock this thing out with Dragapult if they knock me out. But other than that, though, I think we've pretty much put on course to win this game. There's five. Okay, they could double blaze me. I forgot about that. They could double blaze. Do they have another welder? They've played, what, two so far? If they do knock me out, we're just going to go Kursla and then just hope for the best. Um, oh, maybe we shouldn't have held the hand. I don't know. But if we can take a hit here and they bench another Volcanion. Oh, there's a catcher. I would have preferred for them to get heads because that means they uh, don't knock this out. Oh, they got the knockout. Okay. They did get the KO there. That is unfortunate. So now we need to get another Dragapult Rare Candy. Can we just draw Rosa to win the game or something? Okay, that's actually fine. We can Comet in the deck. We got two candies. We only have one Rosa. Hmm. And this Evo Incense. We can always go Cursla here if worse comes to worse. It's not the end of the world. Okay, yeah, we didn't get the rare candy. How much HP do they have? I think they have, what, 50? We can't knock them out quick attack. Okay. Let's go here. Go into the curse. Quick ball. And pass. Hopefully they don't have another gust here. If they knock out Crobat, we might tie the game unless we Marnie into a rare candy Dragapult. They do have that Malalana in the deck, though, still. I do remember seeing that earlier. So they could Malalana here, but they would need a lot of stuff to actually pull that off. They have a five-card hand. They would need, like, Vault or another Pokemon and then a Switch. And they have to discard two cards. It's probably unlikely. Yeah, no heals. Unless they have Great Potion. But Great Potion isn't enough to save them from getting knocked out by Dragapult. So we just gotta hope they don't get another Catcher or Hammer here, I guess. Well, I guess Hammer's fine, because we can always... But yeah, we have... that's why I spread the energy out. But they didn't have a boss, so it didn't matter. They're not attacking me. There's Rosa. That's perfect. So we can go attach the active and pass. Oh, they concede. Okay, never mind. So my game plan there was now we can just attach the active Kursla and just be like, all right, well, we're fine. I could have marnie them too. I probably would have marnie them actually too. Uh, but there you go. That was the first match with the Kursla Dragapult deck. I think it did pretty decent there. I like it. See, the little combo you got going on there with Cursal and Dragapult, it's not that bad. I Really, the only thing I honestly want to add to this deck is more energy. Um, but let's get another match for the deck. All right, guys, getting into another game. We're up against a, possibly a Grass deck here. Now, this could be an Aggro deck, which probably would be pretty tough to beat. Um, they can heal. I think in this matchup, we'd have to use Thing, and oh, we get the Crobat start. That is not good. If we can get a Dreepy here, though, this hand is chilling. But if we don't get a Dreepy, we're kind of going to be in some trouble. Yeah, it's a real boom deck. Yeah. Not a great start on our end. We'll see what happens, though. Okay, he's playing a Mewtwo build, which is actually even better because Mewtwo's weak to Psychic. And I don't think he plays Jirachi. Still, I would uh, greatly appreciate top decking something here. Again, if, I, if we can draw a calm, we can get a turn to Dragapult, which is pretty good. Um, quick Ball, I guess that works. We'll get rid of the Kursla for the Dreepy. The sleepiest of dreepies. And I don't think he plays hammer. The worst thing I think we gotta deal with here is Tropical Hour GX. Other than that, I think we're vibing. We can't move the Crobat just yet unless my opponent... Uh, I'd hate to see it, but my opponent could Marnie me. Which they do, in fact, do. So we do want to get a switching card for Crobat and a rare candy. And a Dragapult. That was a good hand, but let's see what we would have drawn here if we didn't Marnie me. Another Rose. Oh, fuck you. I get the rare candy Dragapult. Literally the exact same hand. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> what? We get the same hand, dude? Are you serious? That's actually hilarious. Um, what do I want to do? 
I'm gonna attach and pass. I was gonna retreat, but I don't actually no, we should have retreated because he'll attack me. But if he knocks me out, we can play Rosa. I'm not really that upset if he attacks me. I wanna get the first hit on an enemy. Okay, I'm actually fine with him knocking out Crobat. I'd rather that. Yeah, yeah, I'd rather that. Okay. I'd rather him knock out the Crobat here. Um that's hilarious, so that Marty gave me the exact same hand. Um Yeah, that's I I just find that funny. Alright, there's a swell, an air balloon. We'll see if he can get a Pokemon though in the discard. He still can't get anything. Can we draw an energy? Do a boss? We can boss the Thwacky up, I guess. I can buy us an extra turn. Um I don't hate that. Yeah, I don't hate that. This can buy us an extra turn, which I might as well do. I don't know. Give us some time to set up a little bit. I still, we need to set up. Like, even if we attack with Dragapult for 240, there's still a chance we, uh, he hits heads on the knockout. Or he hits tail. So I think we should still try to buy some time. Make him get a switch. Kale's going to get another Dragapult. This is one of those matchups I think where possibly is going to be really good because we can use Kursla. Oh, he's going to Marnie me? All right, that should be checkmate then because we should get a supporter. But if we get Kursla down, we can maybe get rid of those egg rows that way if he ever tries to use egg row here. Yeah, there's a supporter. Another rare candy. We have an energy, so we can retreat here. We gotta be a little careful of their energy because of the Tropical Hour GX. There's a Cherish Ball. Probably gonna get the Egg Row, I'm guessing. We can actually knock out the uh, Thwacky here, which is pretty good. Yeah, there's the Egg Row. Quick Ball away the Egg Row. So, I mean, I'm, I'd rather go through Mewtwo than Egg Row anyways. That is fine by me. I think the turning point of this game is just going to be the um, the, the GX attack. Drop a hour. Unless he doesn't use it for whatever reason. He actually gets a Shaman down. Okay. I mean, his hand is small enough that we probably don't have to play the Marnie just yet. So we can actually just go for the Phantom Force. We'll take a knockout. Um, could put 30 damage somewhere. He's going to Calming Hurricane anyways and heal, so... I think we just want to hit. I mean, we should still hit this anyways, right? That's still fine. Make him have the calming hurricane if he wants to save this thing. All right, let's see. We get a Dragapult again. Research. It's not a Dragapult, though. Uh, maybe we should have Marnied him, but I don't want to Marnie him if he has a two, three card hand. Now, this is where things get interesting. We have to get heads on Infiltrator if we're going to survive and make this count. Oh, he's super growthing. Okay, never mind. That's actually perfect. Well, good thing we knocked out that Thwacky then with that boss play. I guess it paid off in the end. Um, there we go. We got another Dragapult. All right. I don't know why he would do that. Because now we, we can win the game in two turns. If he doesn't heal this Mewtwo, we can knock it out too. Um, it's going to research. All right. Another Dreepy. We'll bench it. Um... I do want to get a curse I don't want to get rid of anything in my hand, though. I am just going to go for the Phantom Force. And take a knockout. Yeah, my opponent shouldn't have done that. I mean, well, I guess it makes sense. They have to get the but they could just want coming Hurricane because they already had two energy on it. But hey, I'll take it. Free KO. There's an Evo Incense. And there's a Corsilla. Oh, we got the final right three prizes. Derp. Get another Evo Incense. Okay. Maybe I should have gotten a, cur a, cur a, uh, a Corsilla down, got rid of the comm. I didn't expect to get that many Evo Incenses off of my prize cards. <laughs> Yeah, this is a really good spot we're in. Okay, I'm Marnie. That's fine. We probably could have air balloon the Crobat, to be honest, but it is what it is. He brings in the Mewtwo, so unless he, uh, well, he can call me Hurricane, I guess, but it is what it is. All right, we got a Rosa. That's pretty good. We'll see if he gets a knockout here. That's what I'm, that's the only thing I'm scared of here is him getting a KO. Okay, he's going to stamp the two. That's pretty bad. Okay, definitely should have thinned my hand down there. Yeah, this ain't good. Bad hand. There's a Dedenne coming down. He's down 8 energy, so he could be running out of energy soon. He could Puffy Smashers my Crobat, possibly. Oh, I'd rather that than Tropical Hour. Tropical Hour is really bad. Okay, nice. We live the turn. You'll love to see it. That's what we needed. So he can Tropical Hour me next turn. There's an energy that's pretty good. I think we just Phantom Force. And go from there. Uh, I'll hit the Dedenne for 30, I guess, in case we ever want to boss knock it out. We need 10 more damage on it, but still, makes sense. 
Let me go like 10, 20 here. All right. Let's see if he can tropical hour me. Oh, he's going to boss. He's going to tropical hour the Crobat. Unless he doesn't have an energy in his hand. He is down eight energy. There's a pretty good chance he actually doesn't have an energy in his hand to work with. He has two energy in his hand. He can't do... And doesn't have any energy in the deck. He can't voltage beat. So we'll see. Oh, he's going to go for another dead A change. Gets a Buzzmosa. Is he going to elegant... If he elegant souls, we just win. If he calming hurricanes, we just win. He has to go tropical hour here. Um, to really seal the deal. There's the voltage beat. All right. We'll see if he has the... Um... Oh, only one energy. Okay. So we don't have to worry about tropical hour then. There's a dead A change. Okay. We're definitely chilling. Well, I guess you can do Venusaur's GX attack, but that doesn't make much of... Oh, there's an Ornate Rod. Okay, I'm sure you wanted to see that earlier, but that's good for us. I mean, we still have to be careful of their attachments. He can still trouble Army next turn, but if he if he does Venusaur's GX attack here, I think we've won this, right? We can switch into the Dragapult unless he stamps me again, and we win if he doesn't, um, if he doesn't heal this thing. Okay. That is game. Um... All right, my opponent, I don't know if they played that. I don't know. They definitely could have played a little bit better, I feel like. Um, but we're going to take a dub here with Dragapult against Mewtwo, which is, I guess, like a good matchup for the deck, right? You just go here, here, take two Mewtwo knockouts. We didn't even lose our Dragapult. They didn't even get a single prize the entire game, which is pretty funny. Uh, it's not too bad. Yeah, I definitely think they could have played better there for sure. All right, guys, we'll try one more game with this Dragapult Cursla deck here. We do lose a coin flip. We're playing some metal deck. Now, this is most likely a Luke metal deck, which could be a little tough. Luke metal is a little scary of a card. We don't open the supporter. We do get a pretty decent Pokemon start, but we can Crobat, I guess. But it is always risky to go Crobat. Oh, this man just started with a Cuffin. It's probably still a Zacian deck, right? Let's see if he plays Luke metal. He's got Spike Mouth. Maybe he's not playing Luke metal then. He's playing the... Uh, Kaparaja from Darks of Blaze, right? There's an Evo Incense. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Trepid Sword. What's he gonna get? No energy? Alright, you love to see it. Let's see if we draw. Energy? Okay, good. So we can attach. Play the Swell. We could wait a turn. I don't even know if Crobat's in the deck. I think we Quick Ball and see if it is anyways. It's in the deck. Alright, good. We'll go Crobat. We could have waited a turn because we can use Rare Candy, but... We'll go for it. Um, there we go. Got the turn two Pult. I'm just going to pass. We have the turn two Pult. We just got to hope he doesn't Marnie me. We'll see. I wouldn't mind getting a Cursed top deck either. Um, in case this thing tries to attack me. In a couple turns. Ooh, Metal Goggles. I'll prevent our damage to the bench. The Swell coming in handy. Yeah, maybe another Swell will be decent here, but it's fine. Spike Mouth isn't really that big of a deal for us. Bird Keeper. So no Marnie. All right. That's good. Bringing in the Zacian is actually fine too. Okay, let's see what he does. Crobat? Crobat can be a target for our uh, Dragapulse attack, I guess. Let's see what he decides to do. Just an Intrepid Sword on the bench, Zacian. Okay, and he still doesn't hit any energy, which is good. Alright, what do we top deck here? Another energy for my boy. Hey, I'm really hoping he does not play Lucario Mel Metal. That's what I'm kind of scared of here, is that Luke Metal coming down. That could really mess me up. So we gotta watch out for that Lucario and Mel Metal. Um... Honestly, I'm feeling just holding the hand. We have Rosa. We might as well hold it. Actually, no, because he can... Oh, no, we should have went... Okay, never mind. No, he plays Hammer. And he gets... Oh, my gosh. The Hammer cheese, bro. No. Okay, we should have researched because we could have gotten a Cursula. I definitely... Yeah, whatever. It is what it is. I think we'll be okay if he knocks me out. I definitely should have gotten Cursula there, though. Shoot. I should have just researched... Oh, he's going to boss the Crobat anyways. Okay, all right, cool beans. You knock that thing out. You do you. You do you, boo. Okay, yeah. So this is the only issue I have Crobat. Now he's taking two prizes. Now he already has a bit of a lead in the prize trade. That's why I'm not really digging the idea of playing Crobat. But I, if we didn't have Crobat, we would not have drawn out of that situation we were in. So I think we have to play it. Okay, we'll play the Rosa here. We'll just get Rare Candy Dragapult. Get that boy down. He does play hammers. I, how does he have room for everything? That's my other question. It's like, how does this man have room for all these cards plus this annoying thing? I don't understand it. This deck could honestly play hammers too, if I'm gonna be honest with you. I can definitely see hammers being good in here. Um, I guess we'll hit one of the Copper Rajas, I guess. I don't know. 
All right, let's see if he gets me here. Um, hopefully he doesn't get any more hammerheads. That's what I'm really praying for. If he has hammer and Luke metal, that's going to be really scary. That's going to be really bad. At that point, I think we just got to go with Kursla to try to use Kursla. See what he does, though. I mean, he probably plays twin to attack Cop Raja. I don't, I don't know how he has room for everything. I, I, Crushing Hammer is a very mysterious card. It's like one of those cards you can somehow fit in your deck and somehow have room for four hammers. It's a very mysterious card. But a deck like this doesn't need hammers. That's what kind of annoys me. Like, why does this Cop Rajization deck need hammers? It's an aggressive deck that doesn't really need Crushing Hammer to work. So it's like people just throw it in any deck just to, just to have it in the deck, just to say they have it. All right, hopefully they don't get uh, Tails here. If they get Tails, we're probably going to be in a lot of trouble. So we got to hope. Oh, they have another boss. All right, never mind. This man just has back-to-back -back boss. Let's see if he uh, does anything. Yeah, he's going to take the knockout. Okay. That is fine. We can go Dragapult again. So yeah, at this point, we need to just fill our bench up with stuff we don't want to have knocked out. But he has down two boss. He might not have any more. So let's go research. We need another Dreepy. Get the Cursula. We could bench it. I might. I think I want to bench another Cursula, though. I don't really care for Dragapult. I guess we'll bench it, actually. It's fine. I do want to get more Corsolas down. Hopefully he doesn't have another boss. If he has if he has back to back to back boss, I'm done. With a 29 card deck, if that's his hand. I don't know what to tell you if that's his hand. This game needs to get a reality check if that's his hand. Alright, we'll hit him for 90. We'll just hit this for 30 again, I guess. Sure, to make it easier to knock out. Then maybe what we can do is hit it for 120 and then we can boss something else out and then knock it out with 10 damage. Unless it gets a goggles on it, of course. Alright. Let's we'll see if he has another crazy hand here with Switch. Wait, hold on a minute. Did he... Did he Bird Keeper boss last turn? I'm just, I'm just realizing that. I feel like he did a double supporter last turn and I didn't even realize. Like, I'm looking at his discard pile. He's only played one Switch, so how could he have moved the Zacian... Well, I guess Turbo Patch Saucer, maybe? Yo, did we just get scammed? I, without me realizing. I, I don't know. I'm gonna have to watch that back. I, I just... I, look, I don't want to be, like, the superstitious man today, but, uh... I don't know. That's, that's, that seems kind of sus to me. You know what I mean? That's a little sus. Alright, let's Marnie him. How are we looking here? Another energy. There's an Ornate Rod. <laughs> We'll wait to play that, of course. We probably want to get two basic energies back anyways. So we'll go attach. And Phantom Force for the knock. Or not the knockout. 120, which is good. We can two-shot. Um, put one here and put the rest on this, I guess. He hasn't built up the Cop Rajas yet, which is good. The Cop Rajas is more scary than Zacian. I'd rather him attack with Zacian because then if he gets Tails, he has to go through a lot of work just to even knock me out the following attack. So it's actually better that he um, doesn't use Cop Raja because it, it's more work to use Zacian every turn, especially if he's constantly getting Tails. Okay, what's he doing? It's going to attack. Hopefully, again, he needs to uh, get heads. Well, we need to get heads, sorry. Come on, heads. Let's go. you love to see it. All right, what do we draw in? Another Evo Incense. We could bench Dreepy here. Let me go Drac Cloak. I, at this point, I don't think I want to bench anymore. Because I just feel like it ain't worth it. Because boss's order. He has played two. He might play more. I don't know. I'm just going to... I'm not going to risk it. Let's just go attack him. Let's put more damage on the bat, I guess. Actually, we should probably just hit Zacian. In case another Metal Goggles comes down. Whatever. It is what it is. I think we're in a fine spot. As long as he keeps getting Tails. Or head, sorry. Tails? We don't want to get Tails. We get Tails. That's really bad. Okay. Looks like uh, we're just kind of getting him stuck here. This is actually really good that we're just getting these free hits in. Um, okay, we might as well bench this then. Or just Phantom Force. I just want to bench this because this thing will still give up prizes. And we have to use Cursula. The Cursula will give up prizes. So we do need it um, at the end of the day. Alright, might as well set the Cop Raja. Maybe we can knock out Crobat with enough with enough Phantom Forces. It is a shame that these metal goggles are on. There's a hammer. 
does get heads. Okay, that's fine. We have the other Dragapult in play. See, it's like, why does this guy have to... Why do you have to play hammers in your deck? Like, what does hammer really do for this deck? How many hammers has he played? Two? No, he's played three. How's he only played two? I feel like he's played three. He's only played two hammers, so he has two hammers left. Awesome sauce. Okay, there's a Metal Saucer. I mean, if he's just been Luxation, that's fine. Honestly, maybe we should just bring in the Cursal and just make him go Cursal. How many switches do we have? We have one switch and Air Balloon left. All right, does he have a switch or a Bird Keeper in his hand? Quick Ball, gets rid of the Jirachi. See, like, with this deck, this deck doesn't need Crushing Hammer. Like, I don't know. This is the issue with Standard right now. It's just every deck is randomly playing Hammer. I mean, this guy's got Hammer, Metal Saucer, Turbo Patch. I don't know how this guy has room for everything, bro. I don't know how he has room for all these cards in his deck. It's just, that's the problem with Crushing Hammer nowadays. It's like, why do people play it? Those Hammers could easily be swapped out for this stuff. I just don't get it. All right, Heads again? Uh-huh. All right, that's fine. He already got rid of the energy. It's not even that big a deal. We get the knockout here too, which is really good. Do we want to do Orny Rod? I feel like we might as well. I don't know, actually. I, I, we want to keep as many energies as we can. As we can. That doesn't make any sense. We have a boss. Um, we'll save it for next turn. And let's see. Uh, ball sets. Let's go Rosa. Get energy. Research. Energy research. Dreepy. So I'm going to give up on using Dracolook at this point. I'm going to hold the hand. Might as well burn this too, just in case of a reset stamp. Yeah, I'm not going to bench anything else at this point. I'm just going to go Phantom Force. And... Yeah, we'll put our damage here so we can knock it out if it gets the goggles on. Alright, cool beans. And what are we getting here on the prizes? More energy? If we have any prized? Reset Stamp is really good. Okay, Stamp is huge. I mean, he has Intrepid Sword, but Stamp is really good. Let's see what he's got. He's bringing in the Kaparaja. I mean, if he's stuck here, we just win, right? We just boss his Aishin up. Yeah, he attaches a twin to this. He could... Does he have... How many saucers do you have left? Two? Probably has both saucers. Oh, a Marnie. That sucks. There goes our uh, Stamp and Boss. Because I was going to do Stamp Boss. I was going to knock out the Aishin. Do we have our other Boss still in the deck? I think we do. More energy is always good, though. Okay, hopefully he didn't Marnie himself into an, a Metal Saucer, Metal Saucer, and a Switch. He Marnied himself into a Metal Saucer, Metal Saucer Switch. Are you serious? Don't tell me he actually got that. Okay, I was going to say, that would have been just a little ridiculous. Just a little. All right, we'll research. It's fine, we can always rod that back. I need to get my boy boss. How many do we have in the deck? We have two... Sucks we didn't get stamp, but I guess we'll have the Marnie next turn. We could actually let him stay in the active. How many bird keepers has he played? Two. Three switch. He probably has another switch. I think we just attack him and hope we... We have another Dragapult anyways. We'll be okay. We'll be fine. gonna hit this for 30 actually i have a game plan here hit this for 30 maybe we can we have 70 hp though maybe we can knock it out at some point uh another rare candy okay this is another moment where we need to get heads to survive like we need we need to get heads to win if, if this gets tails we lose the game maybe okay nice that should be about game then i would say um maybe maybe not All right, there's Reset Stamp. We got Boss. We can save the Stamp, though, because we can always stamp him to one. Uh, we're Ordinary Rod. Yeah, so I'm going to play this. I don't really care. We'll get the Energy back. We don't need Pokemon, obviously. We got, I guess we could get Crobat back, but I don't even think we have any way to search it out. It doesn't even matter. We'll save the Stamp. We can always stamp him to one at one point. So let's just hit him here. And yeah, hit the Zacian. Force him to get a Goggles, or else it's going to get knocked out, and we're going to win next turn. Let's go. All right, this should be game. There's no way he can take two prizes here. Let's see if he has a way to clear things up here. I don't think he does. Nope. Okay, he does get the knockout, but that is going to be game. We're going to knock out the Zacian and the Kaparaja here to win the game. And yeah, that'll be it with the Dragapult Cursla deck. 
yeah, I like it. I think it's a pretty cool deck. I think this, I don't think this deck is like insanely good, but it is a really fun deck to play. It's definitely win. It's, you have a lot of win conditions if you're lucky. I think it's real only Achilles heel is energy removal. Other than that though, yeah, I like the deck. Um, yeah, give it a try yourselves. Again, it made 50th place at the Hexer tournament. So there is something to this deck. After playing it, I don't know what else would really change about it. I actually probably would keep the Crobat to be honest, but maybe I would play more energy, maybe another supporter, like another Rosa wouldn't hurt. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, drop a like down below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Help me on the road to reaching 12,000 subscribers or 11.4k subs. Uh, yeah, check out Car Kevin down below. You scroll the F. Uh, follow me on Twitter down below. Help me reach 1,000 followers. Uh, check out my Patreon. If you guys want to play $2 a month for exclusive content, check that out. Catch you guys later. Bye-bye.